Here is another question. The statements and the conclusion are given on the screen and the options are as follow. Ma'am, conclusion 1 is given as M is greater than B. But there is no statement here that contains both letters M and B. Letter M is present in second statement and B in first one. Now, don't worry. There is something that you have to do to connect M and B. And first and second statements have not helped you. So the next step is obvious. Go to third statement. See if it helps you. Or better still, let me show you. First statement is A is greater than D, D is greater than or equal to B and B is equal to E. So, A is greater than B. Now, the thing to remember is that we need not check for each element in a statement one after the other. And in this regard, we have seen one of the rules already, that is, where we find only the signs greater than or equal to and greater than occurring in the root connecting any two letters in a statement, we give priority to the sign greater than. That is, we conclude that the first letter is greater than the second one. And if the set root also carries the equal to sign, but along with one or more signs of greater than or equal to and greater than, the conclusion will be the same. The conclusion that the first letter is equal to the second one holds true only where the connecting root carries only the equal to sign, one or more of them. Is all this clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Well then, it is the same way with the less than sign. That is, where we find only the signs less than or equal to and less than occurring in the same root connecting any two letters in a statement, we give priority to the sign less than. That is, we conclude that the first letter is smaller than the second one. And if the set root also carries the equal to sign, but along with one or more signs of less than or equal to and less than, the conclusion will be the same. The conclusion that the first letter is equal to the second one holds true only where the connecting root carries only the equal to sign, one or more of them. Yes, ma'am. I understood this point. Right. Keeping all this in mind, from second statement, that is, J less than equal to L, L less than equal to M, M less than P, we get either M greater than J or M is equal to J. From here, we conclude that M greater than equal to A because Third statement says J greater than equal to A. Combining the two conclusions derived till now, A greater than B and M greater than equal to A will get M greater than B. Thus, conclusion 1 follows.